Our top story tonight, Worcester police announced the arrest of 16 gang members. Our Olivia Lemon spoke with the police chief who says this is a significant step in keeping the city safe. She's here live with more. Olivia. Kayla, these arrests come after a lengthy investigation that began over the summer. Chief Jem says his officers targeted gun violence after seeing a spike in shooting incidents throughout the city. There's no easy solution and sometimes it takes time and it's easy for somebody to get up and say, you know, more needs to be done. The fact of the matter is a lot is being done. Answering a rise in gun violence this summer, Worcester police arrest 16 gang members. Police Chief Gary Jem says the undercover investigation started in the summer. His officers worked with state police, the FBI and the DEA. We put 18 additional police officers out on the street. We did something a little different this year. We had them actually walk the neighborhoods, develop information, which assisted us in our investigations. Jem says the investigation targeted guns, gangs, and gun violence. He says the arrest led to eight firearms being taken off the streets. We didn't go out into a neighborhood and just started targeting a certain group of people. What we did is we really focused on those that we were able to identify that were involved in gun violence, involved in gangs. It's really critical that these high impact players who've been involved in some of the uptick in shootings and violence that we saw over the summer be removed from the streets of Worcester and not just removed but taken off the streets for a long period of time. City manager Edward Augustus says police were able to collect the information and evidence they needed to make these arrests. He says the focus was on developing relationships with the community to get information. Long term that's going to pay dividends by making sure the police have a good rapport with the community and know the community and the community knows the police officers. The community has the information that we need if we're going to solve the problems. Jem says many of those arrested had criminal history and it's now up to the court system. We'll continue to monitor the activity in the community. We'll continue to make sure that if, if these individuals resurface that we're, we're focused on those individuals that are involved in gun violence. Now, in addition to the 16 arrests, two men appeared in U.S. District Court yesterday after being charged last week with illegal firearm possession. Jem says gun violence is something his department will continue to focus on. Kayla, back to you.